we have to integrate 9x divided by e to the x. This looks kind of tricky at first glance, and the trick is to rewrite it as 9x times e to the negative x dx. And now we have a choice. We can either use parts or tabular. Let's go ahead and use tabular. Let's take the lazy way out. So when you're using tabular, what you want to do is you want to look for a piece that after repeated differentiation is 0. In this case, that piece is 9x. So here we have 9x. And what's left over is what we're going to integrate. So we're going to integrate e to the negative x. So this piece here, we're going to differentiate. And this piece here, we're going to integrate. All right, differentiating 9x, we get 9. And then doing it again, we get 0. When you integrate e to the negative x, well, in general, when you integrate e to the bx, that's just e to the bx over b plus a constant. You just divide by the b. It's pretty easy to do via a u substitution, say u equals bx. Anyways, in this case, b is negative 1. So we divide by negative 1. So we get negative e to the negative x. Integrating it yet again, we divide by another negative, And so it becomes positive. Then we put plus and minus signs. So you always start with plus. So plus, minus, plus. And then you draw arrows. So you draw little arrows. And then you write the answer down. So the answer, in this case, is going to be, let's see, following the arrows. Boom. So negative 9x e to the negative x. And then again, it's negative here because we have a negative sign here. So minus 9e to the negative x plus c. And that is it. That is the power of tabular integration. I hope that made sense.